Hello and welcome to our alternative weekly roundup of all the great stuff that's still going on around Oxfordshire. And trust us, there is plenty going on. As ever, we aim to keep you posted with as many good news stories and updates as possible. First this week, and you read it here at Ox in a Box first. Farmer Ben Wilson from Glimpton ploughed a heart into his 20-acre field to show support for the frontline NHS staff. We broke the story and it has been picked up by media far and wide since. And talking of the NHS, more local businesses have been inspired by the likes of Oxford Fine Dining to feed hungry workers at our local hospitals. They continue to help our NHS workers who are self-isolating in hotels in Oxford. And now Taste to Bet are delivering their delicious Himalayan food as well. And Spice Roots will be doing the same. We expect many more local eateries to come on board and we will keep you posted. Gin now and some more really good news. Read about the amazing success story of Chalgrove Artisan Distillery and how they are determined that their business will survive the pandemic. And you can also enter our competition to win one of two sets of miniatures of their award-winning gin. All the details and the T's and C's are at oxinabox.co.uk. Sticking with drink and why not? Make sure you read the Oxford Wine Company's new cheese and wine column, available now online at oxinabox.co.uk. If you need to add to your isolation reading list, then try Lucy Atkins. Her latest novel, Magpie Lane, is out now. You can read our interview with Lucy at oxinabox.co.uk. Box.co.uk. The Oxford Playhouse may be closed, but they continue to offer inspiring and creative opportunities. Read more at oxinabox.co.uk. If you're after a breath of fresh air and your garden needs attention, then get some inspiration from our friends at Nicholson's Nurseries. You can read more at oxinabox.co.uk. And although the doors may be closed at Blenheim, the palace is celebrating 70 years as a visitor attraction and getting ready for when the doors reopen later this year. Are you struggling to keep keep everyone in your house entertained? Then Experience Oxford might have the answer as they have just launched the big Oxfordshire quiz. Oxford's leader's spring song was cancelled, but instead you can enjoy social distance song with daily performances, talks and interviews until Saturday. Tickets are going fast for Creation Theatre's online version of The Tempest, showing via Zoom on April the 11th, 12th and 13th. You can book online, but be quick. If you haven't caught up with the latest from the Oxford Festival of the Arts, you can still read our interview with Michelle Castelletti about their plans for potentially a virtual event this year. And make sure you also check out the virtual offering from the Ashmolean too. Our alternative takeaway directory is proving very popular and is keeping us extremely busy as we constantly update it to bring you details of all the pubs, cafes and restaurants working flat out to deliver delicious food to our homes. Chefs are also sharing their culinary wisdom and Tycoon is one of the latest restaurants to share their recipe. This time it's for pad thai and green curry. They're joined with hairless biker Martin Sheriff from the Black Horse at Stand Lake who is also making weekly videos to show how to create delicious delicious meals from his recipe boxes. Well, that's it from us for this week. We'll be back next week, but don't forget to check out oxinabox.co.uk for regular updates on all the things you can still do from the safety of your own home. And thank you so much for supporting us and all the local businesses who are trying so hard to keep going in these very challenging times. We'll be back next week.